it didn't do anything. Okay. Let me send the, the fake again so Hawk can have it. Oh, good. There we go. And then I mentioned it in the chat. Yep. yep. I can't see this being anything other than fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because I can imagine a number of possible scenarios. <laughs> okay, what? Don't dare ruin my dream. <laughs> <laughs> what is our reading order? Who wants to go first? Why don't we let our guests go first? All right, Dave goes first. Oh. Right, Dave goes first. Okay. Let's, let's do Dave goes first, and then Hawkeye, and then you, and then me. Okay, so me after Hawk. Okay. Yeah, and me after you. After my cock. <laughs> and then you after me. Okay. Dave, Dave, oh, okay. Dave after me. Okay, Dave, I, I Dave was after like, me. you're starting to so get me Okay, here's the order. Dave, Dave right. Hawkeye, Cassie. you, me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should we do it uh, like, okay, uh, Dave, and then Hawk, or not? Don't worry. Come on, Hawk, <laughs> okay. say your name, say your name. <laughs> You had All one right. job. Hang on, I'm busy writing down the order, so I'm going to screw this <laughs> up. It's going to go south fast. You go after Dave. Also, uh, if nobody can hear the callers, I am recording them. Oh, so well. hopefully the recording doesn't buck up. Otherwise, I will cry. Or I will try to blast them in an audio program she will be, later. She will be pooping bloody tears down her feces. Mrs. Frizzle gets drunk, right? Yes, on fanfiction.net, if by no wind for this hole. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting name. Oh, okay. No, I, I misheard that. I thought this was no wind for this hole. <laughs> <laughs> potato, <right>. potato. <laughs> Dave okay. is going first, then Hawk, then myself, then Hushcho. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Power on. Arnold was 30 minutes late to school, and for good reason. The bus he took, which generally got him there, was in an awful accident. The bus driver was launched out of the seat mm. after hitting a group of babies in the middle of the road. <laughs> and all, all the students, except Arnold, who was busy being pissed off in the corner with a trash can over his head, what? fell victim to the toxic gases released from the babies upon impact. He had hastily <laughs> rolled out of the back hoping to get hit by a car. He didn't get hit by a car, and thus had to walk the treacherous three yards to the school door. He took the trash can. What the flying <laughs> shit? That's oh, a horrible... toxic babies. Oh my <laughs> god. What is this? The original draft for Return of the Living Dead? What the hell? <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm amazed he bothered to take the trash can off. <laughs> <sighs> no, leave it on and never show your face again. When he got inside, he was immediately taken aback by the pungent smell of fresh doobie. In a world. <laughs> In a world. <laughs> In a world where there is the pungent smell of fresh doobie. <laughs> <laughs> a magic school bus Mistress will arrive. Was it in her room. <laughs> As she does. <laughs> As she does, indeed. Obviously written in the style of the books. <laughs> yeah. Yes, totally. All the other students were screaming in agony as she had forgotten to let them out of the school building for the past three days. Oh my god! <laughs> Locking them in without food or water the entire time. It was a good thing Arnold was dismissed early last Friday. Oh my god. He came back. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, you know, you'd think he would get out while he could. I'm running for the hills, bitch! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> He opened the door, and the entire class weakly fell onto the ground and began to crawl to the nearest water fountain, running like a bunch of very irritated zombies. Arnold sighed and uh, stared at the asses of the meek children. <laughs> <laughs> he stared at the asses. Wait, what? <laughs> as you do in this sort of right, circumstance. Right, you just look at all their asses as they <laughs> crawl on the floor to a water fountain. Starving. <laughs> Starving, dehydrated children. Uh -huh. Let's just stare at their asses. Stared at the asses of the meek children sprawled across the floor. He rolled his eyes, because, yeah, they're just being assholes. And walked, into the, <laughs> and walked into the room, the marijuana odor emanating from the northwest corner of it. Miss Frizzle was staring blankly at the ceiling. She was having a nice high. You know, all of the books make so much more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> She's just high on her fucking mind, so were the students. If, you can read the next three, because it's just dialogue. Okay. Sorry I'm late to class, Miss Frizzle. The bus got in an accident. 
Miss Frizzle did not reply. Arnold looked down to the bottom of Frizz's dress and saw a very familiar tail poking out of it, swishing back and forth. Oh, that's just the Frizz's dress. I guess you see, see, it's her title, not her name. Yeah, the Frizz, <laughs> like the thong. Hey. <laughs> Oh, that's just gross. After about 50 more minutes of the curly-haired reject and his teacher having a bit of a staring contest, the students piled back in the classroom. Why would they, why would they come back? I don't know. <laughs> looking healthier than ever? I doubt that. Maybe looking less no. like they're dying. Keep going, keep going. I, I'm going to. Okay. It's my turn. No, no, I mean, like, re look, it kind of answers your question. They had roasted, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they had roasted the lunch ladies in the oven in the middle of the science wing. Nobody <laughs> even noticed. Okay, problem here. How did they do that in like the 30 seconds that passed? No, no, they said 50, 50 minutes. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I missed it even though I read it. But 50 minutes? That's a that's not a long time for you to be I, able I to actually roast a living human being. Like, like let's just say that, you know, maybe a, a living human being, let's say on average, let's say about 150 pounds for uh, for an average, you know, this this hypothetical <laughs> lunch. <laughs> so... <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, like a turkey or a ham or something, that takes hours, yeah. hours to cook properly. <laughs> so, how many lunch ladies are there? Does it say? No, nope, there's said lunch ladies. Lunch ladies. So even if you presume yeah. that there's just like three to five of them, <laughs> that would take the better part of a day, not fifty minutes of them staring at each other, Maybe unless they, they had hungry. started, unless they had started beforehand. <laughs> so like, where did you put your monkey thing on this? Oh, oh, should your I? Your monkey It'll be incredibly loud. No, I don't no, think no, that's no, a no, good no, idea. Don't, no, no, no. I was just saying. You oh, know, you mean like you, later? You yeah, later. For the appropriate time, yeah. like the, when uh, there's an eventual scene of ejaculation in this story. <laughs> <laughs> likely, likely. Uh, they filed back into the regular seats and attentively looked at their mentor, silent. Okay, my turn. Yeah. Right. Yes. Arnold, you don't get back to your seat in three seconds. I'm going to literally. Tear your eyes out of their sockets. Am I going to read the next paragraph? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Cool. Arnold completely forgot, for, forgotten the sound of his teacher's voice, the fine source, the horrendously scratchy noise that vaguely resembled human speech. It was a full 23 seconds before he realized that it was probably Frizzle, and he ran to his seat. <laughs> You're already standing there like an idiot for 23 seconds. You're running to your seat. It's not all right. He was able to do this in more than three seconds because Frizzle was too buzzed to even move correctly. <laughs> he, he could move because she was buzzed. <laughs> the tearing out of his eyes ended up just being her slowly moving her hand to the left. <laughs> I am feeling this is less magic school bus and more hotline Miami. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It seems about right. So I'm not even sure where to reach you at this point. Uh, just... <laughs> Uh, your line is, she grabbed her whiskey bottle. No, I know, but it's just, uh, why don't you read, there's a whole bunch of very short lines in her why don't, why don't oh, you read? Okay. Why don't you read all I, I say read until, okay, I brought us eight yeah. tickets. Read, read all works. the short lines, yeah. Huh. All right. She grabbed her whiskey bottle and daggered it, dangled it haphazardly from her fingernips. Now listen here, you little chicks. <laughs> Take her, gotta get crunk. There was a confused murmur amongst the crowd, probably because none of them had ever heard the word crook before, crunk, except crunk, me. Crook, 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 crook. <laughs> the fuck's a crook? Ralphie asked. <laughs> DA, in her bitchy know it all fashion, turned around to face him and slammed her leg on his desk. <laughs> she didn't have to get her hands because she was a black belt. <laughs> Um, getting yeah, mud all over the poor child's face before wailing the definition at him. Everybody unanimously understood with a reassuring, huh. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's reassuring, all right. <laughs> I'm reassured. I feel better Miss, already. Mrs. Frizzle took a long swig of her booze. Good job, DA. 
Now get your foot off my fucking desk before I break this bottle over your head. I have to pay for those, you know. <laughs> yeah, he took her foot off the now slimy desk. <laughs> Wait, if she's muddy, how is she now slimy? Well, you don't know what you don't happened. Want to know. Yeah, you okay. But she like drinking slime from the bottle. Now that yeah. she didn't break the bottle. Yeah. It happened. It happened. Well, DA is part of slug. Okay. <laughs> she left the trail. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay. Okay. I bought us eight tickets to a little little wedding concert next to the school. Because that's a thing that happens. If they put it right next to the Yeah, <laughs> because they would do that. Since there's only eight and Liz counts as a person, that's rude. <laughs> that's incredibly rude. <laughs> <laughs> that leaves six of you to come with me and two of you to stay. Arnold, you can keep your ass glued to the chair because I'm sure as hell I'm not going to take your unenthusiastic attitude to Wesley's perfect stage. Wanda, you're too Asian to understand anything he's going to say. <laughs> Sounds good. This is Liz. Oh. <laughs> I weird. forgot about the lizard. Yeah, lizard. <clears throat> All right. The class was undecided. If you all come, I'll kill Arnold when we get back. <laughs> the bus was filled within seconds. Seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> See you bitches later. Drizzle <laughs> smashed smash the bottle on the front of the car. Pieces flying everywhere. The bus ran over a good amount of pieces and the two front tires completely popped. Mrs. Frizzle, in her drunken stupor, just kept on driving the bus. Bus. Her foot pushed, pushed God. <laughs> her foot pushed fully down on the gas pedal and her other foot nonchalantly controlling the steering wheel. What is that noise? <laughs> it's the fridge again, Dave. Turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> Calm I yourself. Doing anything. Calm yourself. I don't know. Um, as the concert was literally only one block away, the class was there in only two hours, and they filed out of the bus site. Oh, me again. Sorry. Back at the school, Wanda and Arnold were watching the clock go by, counting the minutes until Arnold's final. Look at a joke that they were going to kill Arnold. But... <laughs> hey. hey, Arnold. Oh, hey. Everything turned out better than expected. Yeah, it's all coming up roses. Arnold was an emotional wreck. And he was sobbing uncontrollably. Why don't you just go Arnold home or switch school? In the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just going to get that next one. Uh, Wanda eventually walked out after hearing the cry, bringing with her a semi-soiled toilet paper roll no. to help sob up his teeth. <laughs> if you're going to poop in wine, don't Can poop. Can put this poop in your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. We're gone. <laughs> Arnold wasn't wearing any glasses, so she figured he wouldn't. Ew! Know. <laughs> but she Ew! To walk his way. Ew! <sighs> she sat down across from him. Arnold, I know life can get you down sometimes, but this is one of those times where you need to man the fuck up and move on with your life. <laughs> Great life coaching. <laughs> I mean, how many times have you thought you were going to hate a field trip and ended up learning something? Arnold blew his nose at Wanda's hair. Arnold blew his nose into Wanda's hair, mistaking it for a tissue. <laughs> I know, Wanda. It's just that being around Miss Frizzle intimidates me. I want a woman like her. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> stories. Okay. okay. And she's 43 and married. Not that her husband is alive or anything, but you catch my drift, not really. <laughs> I, I, I may have once again misjudged, not Hotline Miami, but maybe the Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. Wanda grabbed a pair of scissors from the other side of the room near the sink and started cutting the mucus-infused hair off her head. Because that's going to look good later. <laughs> you know, I bet if you just... Talk to Miss Frizzle. She'll re she'd reconsider. She's drunk as shit anyway, so I doubt she doubt she would be too hard on you. She cringed as she accidentally punctured her ear with the scissors. Blood flowed onto the floor. Do we really expect any differently at this point? I yeah, you're I right. Was, I was expecting 
face, but you know, <laughs> that's right. good too. You're right, Wanda. I just need to drown my sorrows first. Thanks for the chocolate, by the way. Uh, <laughs> gross! Gross oh and gross! Just gross! God. Why does it have to go this direction every time? I don't know! Why are we always reading the stories with shit? Okay, blah blah blah, star turds, blah blah, why, blah blah blah. There, we've said it. We see it. We say it every damn time. We might as well get it over. Fucking well, the thing is, it bears repeating. It bears repeating. I'm yes. working. Arnold Lunch for the soy- soiled toilet paper, yeah. taking quite the bite out of it. Yeah. Choked, yeah. but thought of it would help trigger his gag reflex. I'll just go and do the next one. <laughs> at, at the concert, Mrs. Frizzle handled handled. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> say work good, yeah. At the the concert, Mrs. Frizzle handed out the tickets. You lose these and you're not getting back on the bus. Are we clear? Point. The bus did nothing because it was a bus. <laughs> Good talk. The, the only unserialistic moment so far in this story. Fuck this. You're all boring. I'm going to go get me some crack. Baby, come on. <laughs> I need your lunch money. <laughs> wow. That was me. Baby was dragged along by the torso. My old school, we never learned how to get crunk. And Phoebe, if you say that goddamn punchline one more time, I'm going to turn you into a gas. Yeah, 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 that, that, that. <laughs> it's infectious, I'm sorry. I'm say it. I was just so damn mad at you. I can't speak. I'm going to turn your ass into jelly. I've got the vaccine. <laughs> vaccine right here. It's jello. It's <laughs> given to me by the great cause. Jello, you jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, said, jiggle those jigglers. Phoebe quit complaining. Thank God for that. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, oh, am I still going? Or yeah, I'll, I'll, Why not? Uh, okay. No, oh, thank you. Meanwhile, Tim was having trouble finding a seat in the packed stadium. Where there looked like an empty seat, there always ended up being a shattered beer bottle, disposed of babies, a worse porn. Worse. That's, that's, that's worse. That's not worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe these are toxic babies, though. Perhaps. Like oh, the toxic those, gas baby well, things. The worst, yeah, but porn's worse than toxic babies? I don't know. Oh, okay. America. Maybe the Tim. Maybe it's necrophilia yeah. porn. America. America? Hey, he decided to pump his big black butt on the stairs of the food vendors. Sometimes they dropped a french fry or two so he could scrounge for food without looking like a deranged homeless woman. Would he have I, anyway? Like how? <laughs> what? I have no idea. Oh, this is the most fun story you've ever had me read. <laughs> About 30 minutes into the concert, people started getting restless. The precious wheezy was nowhere to be found, and all the clean water had been gulped down already. For Phoebe, however, this was not a problem. Phoebe had spent her $20 not on lunch, not on crack, but for some cracked movie cookies that were dripping Ooh. with liquid. No, 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 no. You can get some food. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Um, at this point, she was so finished that when she saw the liquid dripping off the cookies, she just forked over the 20 right then and there. It was only 20 more minutes before she realized just what that liquid was. She was tripping balls by the time Mrs. <laughs> Frizzle bursted out of the porta potty with an old Mexican man, long parts of her dress, torn and covered in fecal. Ew. Well, well, how did we even get to this? I what don't is know. our life? I don't know. What is our life? I have life? no clue, but it's sad. <sighs> is, is the final line of this story going to be the aristocrats? No <laughs> 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 demon. Oh, that was good. You made my day. (laughs) Phoebe saw three Mrs. Frizzles with guns and colored like the American flag. Merca. 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 In America. (laughs) She didn't get far before flipping over face first into the crowd. Ralphie, Liz, D.A., and Carlos found themselves near the front of the stadium. The speakers were broken, loose wires dangling from the ceiling, and a high-pitched squeal was the only thing they could hear other than their own voices. Liz sat on uh, Ralph's fat lip. Oh, lap. (laughs) (laughs) My God. (laughs) Suddenly, 
herself in his mini mounds. <laughs> his lovely lady lambs. Okay. <laughs> Apparently. As long as I don't talk. <laughs> Ralphie didn't know much better than to pet her. As he did so, he felt a strange attraction <laughs> arise. Literally. <laughs> I'm so happy you got to read this character. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Liz rose from Ralph's lap and turned around, gazing into Ralph's Ralphie's dark brown peepers. <laughs> she gave the green shirted moron a lick on the cheek and smiled. She uh, he blushed as his face got closer to the reptile, and the ringing from the speaker softened as the two finally commenced. Their first kiss. How romantic! I was thinking of how uh, you know, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, Gecko's kiss, where they they got their their tongue just sort of filling out their entire mouth, and they just touch it. It's nasty. Anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Should I keep going? Uh, I'll I'll, I'll pick up. Okay. Um, Carlos watched the two go at it before looking directly at the A. Yes, you could say that this predicament is pretty. Don't do this. Ralph Worthy. Carlos chortled, chortled hysterically before acting upon his words, proceeding to vomit <laughs> directly <laughs> onto Dorothy's face, <laughs> covering yes. her purple sweatshirt with his yellow stomach acid. What the hell? What is he, a fucking lizard from Jurassic Park? What the fuck is this? Yes. <laughs> He's is a he gonna? Is he gonna? Is his frill going to spread now? He's a spinner. Ben could taste the burn in some areas. Yeah, whatever. I'm. I'm I'll be back. Okay. Oh, okay. So I need to pick up. Where am I at? Uh, the entire stadium. The entire stadium. Me, that is Annex, shouted Carlos's name besides the district attorney, who was busy literally <laughs> screaming her face off, flesh dripping from her cheeks like a stick of butter in the microwave. Carlos's necrophilia kick kicked in. His well known necrophilia kick. It came up often in the TV series. Of course, totally. Because you know how, how many people get turned on by dead stuff. You know, PBS program. Yeah, yeah. You know, for kids! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't know anything about that at all. No. Carlos is necrophilia kid. kid, 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 kid. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos is necrophilia kid, kicked in, and he was averted, and he averted his eyes to keep from blushing. To keep his mind off the hot mess in front of him, he did what he always did whenever he felt hot and heavy. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay! He rocked himself back and forth in the fetal position. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'll just kind of, okay. DA paused her screaming to make sure she was hearing her clearly. Because <laughs> your face is melting off. You went to pause. Yes. You're gay? Two for <laughs> sexual orientation. Let's make out. Because that makes sense. <laughs> that makes any kind of sense. Many sense. Carlos sniffled up his tears like premium crack cocaine. <laughs> he could finally do this. He'd been practicing making out with the corpse of his dead dog. He yawns just for this very reason. <laughs> you know, for kids. <laughs> Ew! Gross, 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 gross. Ew, ew, and ew. The Hispanic child stuck out his tongue for the barely breathing blunt bitch to bite on. Wow, try saying that three times fast. She ripped it off. Oh my god! But she was hungry anyway. So ew! It didn't matter in the long run. Ew! The two friends lay in silence, tugs in each other's mouths for a good three consecutive hours. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is even going on? I don't have a good answer for that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ralphie and Liz are getting serious, going, doing despicable things to each other. All that the child could feel was a barrage of pleasure, pain, and scales. But mostly the last two. <laughs> Have <laughs> <laughs> Having never experienced any sort of physical affection in his entire existence, including his birth, where his mother screamed louder 
after giving birth than during. He passed it off as merely giving the social norm for kinky interaction. He could have done without the claws on in his hip, in his nipples, though he Drink was yeah. <laughs> he was pretty sure milk wasn't supposed to be red. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's science, I think. <laughs> Ouch. I'm, just, I'm imagining this, and I'm just like, oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll just see the name. Mr. Oh. O says, no. <laughs> Don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> Don't stick it up your ass. <laughs> uh, anyway, four hours passed, and there was still no sign of little way. Ninety percent of the audience had already filed out of the stadium. The majority of the rest of them were too crunk to move. The uh, confused look, sorry. <laughs> the per perplexed frowning from Hushjob. The atmosphere really needed some livening up. You don't oh, say. All of a sudden, the <laughs> lights. All of a sudden, the lights flashed off, and a small stage in the center of the stadium rose. A purple spotlight shimmering down on it. A single person stood atop the platform, not moving, not breathing. A single twitch of the butt cheek later, and the lights all flipped on. I guess this is like a clapper, except it's operated by your butt. <laughs> Clap off. This is a clapper. Revealing an African American girl twerking it like none of them had ever seen. She had obvious buttock implants <gasps> as her booty rammed the top of the stadium and the bottom of the stadium with each shake. That's not buttock implants. That's a serious that's, and that's evil voodoo. issue. Yeah, that's evil voodoo. That's some sort of that's some sort of terrifying ersat superpower. <laughs> That's Amityville. You know, like... well, I see lasers out of my eyes. Uh, storm, she controls the weather. What do you do? Um... I make earthquakes happen when I twerk. Yes. <laughs> I'm called the twerker. I can... <laughs> I can touch the ceiling and the floor with my ass if I want to. Inflatable ass. <laughs> um... The crowd cheered with the enthusiasm of a thousand parents relieved that they don't have to take their kids to Disney World. <laughs> what? How, what logic that makes none? One particular lady, though, was a bit skeptical of all the excitement. Why? Why? Why would you be skeptical? Yes. Yeah. Holy shit. That's Kishka, Tim Holler. Indeed, the Nicki Minaj lookalike was in fact Kishka. Upon hearing her name, the kinky stripper brought her dancing to a halt. She slid the 20 feet down the with the pool down the hall and the huge mm -hmm. and hung her head in shame. Oh, she was destroyed. <laughs> How the hell does Keisha from Magic School Bus look like Nicki Minaj? I don't know. I don't even know who Nicki Minaj or Keisha look like. So <laughs> it Keisha, all Keisha's just this girl. Nicki Minaj has a huge ass. And it's like, I don't know. Whatever. Well, maybe they're just looking at her from. All she had ever wanted to do was get away from the madness that was Mrs. Frizzle. And even then, she could not escape. The half-conscious lady stumbled down, stumbled, 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 she stumbled. Pretty sure she didn't stumble. She stumbled down the stairs, hurling herself into the stadium. I'm afraid I can't she let you do that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> she spilled her 128 ounce That's jug. That's a fucking huge ounce jug. Yeah. <laughs> How fucking big is this? Is this like that huge thing that Gara she from Naruto has on his her, back? She was yeah. in her pants, and that's why everybody thought she looked like Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. She spilled her 128 ounce junk. 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 <laughs> she spilled her junk, did she? Yeah, she did. Just well, when you thought did this have a lot could of junk not in get. The trunk. Just when you thought this couldn't get any worse, she uh, spilled her junk. She spilled her 128 ounce of junk in her trunk. <laughs> Of what probably wasn't fruit, punched on her zone, banged her foot off of Sleepy, who was now muttering something about the astrophysics and the theology and the theological factors of entomology. Is that the, the study of uh, insects? Entomology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, study of bugs. And tore her dress off in the ring, feet away from Kishka. Kisha, <laughs> Kisha, sorry. Like Kisha Ivory Lance, or anyway. Uh, Keisha sighed and let her hair down. And then Miss Rizzle tried to run away from you because your class always bored me. Bored? I mean, 
really that's the that's the word you want to use well we are disgusted and horrified it's, it's but we're definitely not bored yeah, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's a lot of things but mm. boring, i'm not sure is actually accurate yeah even in the context of this story it's certainly not yeah. boring that's i would use other choice adjectives yeah. it's like maybe <laughs> Anyway, I thought if I learned to get crunk, maybe I would finally be happy. Shows we <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Frizzle smiled sadly, heading the sight of the black girl's face. She was proud of her little prodigy, and she took a minute before deciding how to respond to the flattering jewel of passion smiling innocently in front of her. Oh, Bitch, if you don't get the fucking mouth by the count of three, I'm going to jab my fist <laughs> on your head and start shitting food you haven't eaten yet. <laughs> 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 Thank you for oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. This is why. <laughs> but she never finished her sentence because Liz smacked her to the ground and tied her mouth shut with a magic with medical tape. <laughs> it could be magical. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they might be considering, you know, the fandom we're in. But anyway, Ralphie handcuffed her hands behind her back using Liz's trusty emergency SNM gear. <laughs> what the hell? Because the lizard would have that. I guess. Oh boy. Well, you never know when he's going to get one of his children along. Yeah. They just, you know, well, did I, he I, just I have one of his children just along? behind this thing that says in case of emergency break glass. <laughs> Except it says in case of emergency break ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Carlos rubbed DA's face on her legs, rendering her unable to use her now rotting feet. Ugh. Okay. Keisha rolled her eyes as they dumped her in the back of the bus like they did with Arnold's adult diapers. Ooh. What the hell? I don't understand. I was going to see Wheezy. Ralphie grumbled as he took his seat next to Liz. Are we? My, my paragraph was very short. That's why I couldn't Okay, away. sorry. I, I was, I, well, I, I lost where we were. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, next to Liz, who had jammed her claws into his torn jeans. The eerie bus ride back was a con con conglomeration. 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 Of angry moans, erotic farts. <laughs> erotic farts. Erotic farts. Is that is that not a contradiction in terms? No. Like erotic farts. Yeah, somebody somewhere. I know somebody somewhere, but how is a fart erotic? Like, how hey, does it have hey, to hey, sound hey, to be erotic? Talking about this right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know how it would sound though. I'm trying to imagine a, an erotic maybe, fart. Maybe it would be very slow and quiet at first, and then slowly rise in pitch. <laughs> well, you know, I want to. You know, someone I know once was like talking to me and was like, "I," just, <laughs> and he was like, "I can't believe this, but I just farted and it sounded like a saxophone." <laughs> So maybe that was how it was. Maybe it sounded like a saxophone in an oh, 80s ballad. Okay, okay. Know. And Mrs. Frizzle slamming the bus back and forth to try to knock uh, Keisha out. Why? When you put her back there with no avail. Back at the school, Wanda and Arnold were finishing the touches on his speech to Miss Frizzle when she got back. Arnold was determined to win his spot back in his much-beloved classroom. You run, you stupid prick. I don't know, <laughs> but that would have been the smart thing to do. Now, say what we worked on, Arnold. One that gave him a reassuring thumbs up, Ding. along with the awesome smiley face. <laughs> Ding. Oh, my God. Mrs. Frizzle, I know I've been an asshat to you recently about my opinions on your field. Do, 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 do. But I don't really mean it. Do, do, do. It's just flirting, oh, just shyness. Do. Because in truth, I really want to rub my hands up your shirt and motorboat those fine tits of yours. <laughs> it's hard for me to be nice to people when I always have this raging boner that no one will let me live uh... without. I just want to love you, and I hope you'll reconsider mauling me. <laughs> I'm so glad you got to read that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> it was so touching and so much feeling and emotion was in that. That was a wonderful Thank you. speech, Arnold. Thank you. That was such a wonderful yeah. speech. <laughs>
The award for most histrionic performance in a magic school bus fan fiction goes to. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Wanda gave him a smile. That's the winner, Rover. Arnold smiled too. In fact, he puckered his lips together, leaned in, and. Hey, look, it's the bus. Wanda. Oh, Wanda. 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 <laughs> Wanda. Oh, Wanda. Wanda. Oh, Wanda. 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 I like Wanda, Wanda better. Up. Let's have Snapped Wanda. Her. <laughs> Snapped her head around, breaking Arnold's nose with a fine crack. She wasn't sorry. She grabbed Arnold's penis and pulled him out of the carnival's <laughs> waiting for his teacher to arrive with a gun in hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> the bus slowly ground into a halt in front of the school. Mrs. Frizzle was tired, and she just needed to get up and go to sleep. She stood up and accidentally slammed full speed on the gas pedal, launching the kids into the back of the bus with Keisha. Wow. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. All right, finish then. us up. Finish us up. Finish us up. <laughs> yeah, finish him. At my old school, we never... Phoebe was cut off by the screaming of the class, including Mrs. Frizzle, who smashed her head into the horn out of sheer annoyance. Good for her. <laughs> the class suddenly went silent as they realized just what they had done. They all leaned their heads out of the shattered windows to take a peek at what they hoped was going to be just a coincidence. Arnold was dead. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, Arnold. The entirety of the school burst out of the building wielding pinatas, firecrackers, what? and complimentary champagne. Complimentary champagne? What yes. school is this? I want to go to that school. Give me complimentary champagne. Maybe that'll make maybe that'll make algebra more tolerable. The battle was finally over. Everybody was crunk. Yeah. 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 That's, all sunglasses. Well, that's a hell of an act. What do you call it? The aristocrats. <laughs> so everybody, what did you think of that story? God, it was horrible. <laughs> that was way grosser than we were made to believe. I know, right? Oh my Hold god. I, I can't talk just yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. What's Hello. happening? Well, um it was super deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> no, great story. Wonderful. Love it. Yeah, so. totally. Like what five out of five stars. Yeah. No, one out of you know, maybe no. I <laughs> I can't give it a single no. No I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that uh, was special. Chart, when you go to the doctor and it has the uh, this the uh, frowny face on one end yeah. and the smiley face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a frowny just, face. Just left to the frowny face. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it actually may be good to listen to this high because honestly, I'm not sure if you would really enjoy it any other way. That is a point. <laughs> <laughs> that that was yeah. You know, I I don't think I would normally do that story on my show. That yeah. is something I would avoid like the plague for having yeah, on the show. There are there are a couple of bits that went way too far for. Yeah. For what it was. So. Well, it, it seemed like just a. Uh, we're we're going to toss this in because uh, mm -hmm. we're going to try to to upset people. Not that uh, the yeah. guy's really into any of this shit. Yeah. yeah we're just going to put as much gross shit in here as we can yeah. think of and see what happens. And like, while it wasn't as excessive as uh, Star Wars, it yeah. still had some stuff in it. it that was just yeah. Kind of like, yeah, oh, that didn't really need to be in there. It's not really that. Yeah. That's yeah. not really fun. Um, I, I, I imagine this story was written in uh, the uh, science lab of uh, some uh, some uh, junior high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, was, by by a, a group of people, not uh, necessarily mm -hmm. just one mm -hmm. author. It really does have that feel. That is exactly how I feel about it. <laughs> so uh, I will follow that uh, uh, to be uh, erased from my mind later today. Uh -huh. You have the mind leash. I've been looking for it. I might, but it could be at my closet at home. Uh, so that might be why we, uh, yeah, we did forget some things and left at my house. I'm not good. Yeah. <laughs> Double meaning. <laughs> but, um. Cassie. What? No more wire hangers. Ever. You've never seen Mommy Dearest, have you? No. Oh, God. I, I'm like, <laughs> why are we talking about wire hangers? Like that. Yeah, I like, thought there was going to be shit going down. No! <laughs> <laughs> Has no one ever seen Mommy Dearest? 
Faye, Dun- Faye Dunaway is Joan Crawford. It's one of the biggest pieces of bullshit ever. <laughs> it's it's so hammy and overacted. She's like she's like a side of ham. Seriously, it, that is the campiest performance possibly in the history of film. It's amazing. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love sexual power. What is this story even? <laughs> I don't know, but it was horrible. <laughs>